completing my Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection. I first opened the Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection Starlight Castle Compact in a previous video, which I will link here. I absolutely loved the nostalgia of it all, so of course I became obsessed. And ever since then, I have had my eye out for party time surprise, which is what I really wanted. I was able to find the Starlight Dinner Party pretty easily for a very good price. Uh, I think I got it off of Amazon. Then I found the Mermaid Dreams Compact, also I believe on Amazon, also for a pretty good price. Neither of these were above the original retail. The most difficult one to find was the 30th anniversary Party Time Surprise Keepsake Compact from Polly Pocket. This one I was finding listed unopened on like sites like eBay and even Amazon for more than it would cost to buy the original vintage one, which was insane. I finally found a decent price that I could live with on eBay. It was above the original retail price, but still far lower than what I had been seeing it. So now that I finally got my hands on it, I'm ready to open all three. This is the largest compact in the collection. It's a chunky one, more like the castle. The packaging is really pretty, this kind of unique semicircle. On the back, we have these adorable illustrations of Polly and her friends. I like the little bow detail on the top. And again, this is a recreation of the Polly Pocket Starlight Dinner Party. The original was released in 1994 and does look a little different. Then we have the Polly Pocket Mermaid Dreams. This one may be loosely inspired by the 1993 Sea Shine Mermaid Locket. This packaging, completely different, very cute, a lot of cutout details, adorable images on the back of Polly and her mermaid friend, super cute. You can see this compact is a little bit smaller, but still seems to have a lot of detail. Finally, we have the one I'm most excited about. It appears to be the smallest compact. I actually have never seen this compact in person. I had no idea it was so small considering it looks so detailed, but party time surprise, very excited. The original one I think played a song. This one does not have a sound effect. The original one was released in 1989 with a different color scheme. This packaging is really adorable. I love all these little cute images on the plastic. I love this detail right here, this faux compact that's raised from the rest of the packaging, so cute. On the back, a lot of adorable Polly Pocket imagery really on point with the packaging. So let's get these opened. I'm gonna open them as carefully as possible so as not to destroy the packaging and take a closer look. So here they all are out of their packaging, cute as can be. Let's take a look at Party Time Surprise first. So here is the compact closed. It is very glittery. The glitter's a, sort of coming up on my fingers. It's a rough texture. It's like there's no coating to protect the glitter. It's very, very strange. And it makes me want to put some type of sealant on it so the glitter doesn't come off. But you can see it's fairly small. It has the classic Polly Pocket in gold on the top. On the back, it says Bluebird. And then it says 2018 Mattel. I believe this was actually released in 2019. And of course, the original was made by Bluebird and distributed by Mattel. The colors are different. I should say the outside color and the inside colors are a little bit different, but it's really cute, all these little details. We've got Polly's bedroom in the top, and it looks like it's decorated with balloons and streamers. We've got little curtain detail, and you can see through the window. She's got a little cabinet and a plant. Then we have the bathroom with a little toilet and toilet paper and a sink, and I guess this is a mirror. And then we have the living room, which is set up to have a kind of DJ booth. Uh, we also have the printed backing, which shows a couch. We have some more molded plastic balloons. and We have a little piece of furniture in the corner with, I guess these are 
It's supposed to be pictures hanging on the wall. This is a little dance floor where you can put your poly figure and then move it around. Below on the ground floor, we have the classic little doorway to enter Polly's house. And there is Polly. We have a pretty fancy dinner service set. Presents, more presents and cards, more food and drinks laid out on this buffet table. If we turn it around, we have even more birthday cards and some more treats. We have a giant present here, which I believe in the original when you opened it, it played music, but now it just fits the little teddy bear, which the original set also came with a little teddy bear. And then we also have our Polly. She is wearing a removable fabric skirt and her feet. I just noticed one of her legs is a little bent. Um, she does have the classic just articulation at the waist. And obviously there's various places you can put Polly in this set. She can stand there. She can stand over here. And of course she could be on the dance floor. Very cute. I love the size of this poly. I love the classic style. Packing so much detail into such a small little compact. This is very classic poly. I don't love the glitter. I almost forgot to point out that the Party Time Surprise Polly Pocket came with this little booklet to celebrate 30 years of Polly Pocket. They have an image of the 1989 original and the 2019 recreation as well as some images of other year Polly Pocket releases. They show the 1990 Polly Pocket rings. Uh, then the 1992 Starlight Castle playset, which I mentioned previously. Pollyville, which I've always loved Pollyville, but that is a huge expense to try to collect that these days. Then there's the Pet Parade collection from 1994 the 1995 Polly Pocket Birthday Surprise, the Magical Move-In Pollyville from 1997, another really cute one, and then some images of classic Polly. Just a cute little booklet to celebrate the 30th anniversary. Next we have the Polly Pocket Mermaid Dreams. Now this is a keepsake collection edition. There is some embedded glitter into this kind of pearlescent lavender finish. It is a shell, obviously. It does say on the back, 2021 Mattel. So we have some really cute detail. We've got this kind of hollow background in the top. We've got a jellyfish and a seahorse and some plankton and coral. We've got kind of like a shell bed. Uh, we've got a dolphin over here and then a little vanity with a shell chair. It's very cute, little detail, but tiny little comb. And then on the lower part, we have like a little platform with a place to stand a Polly Pocket. Then we have a treasure chest full of gold with more gold spilled in the sand. Got some cute details like a turtle and some seashells and a clam. This clam opens to reveal a ring, uh, a little ring for a child. It's a cute little ring. This was also done in old Polly Pockets. There were several that included a ring or a resting place for a ring that you could take out. We also have these adorable little seahorse gates that open. That's really cute. Now, I actually wasn't originally going to get this set because it's not a recreation of a specific Polly Pocket, but I do love the shell design, and I love the two Polly Pockets that come with this set. We have two little mermaid Polly Pockets. I love their little translucent tails. They do have the articulation at the waist still, and their little Polly Pocket peg is at the base of their tail. It's just so cute. So if you wanted to place them in the set, they can stand on their fins in different positions, which is really cute. They can also sit on the shell bed or over here. Isn't that adorable? 
That is so freaking cute. And then finally we have the chunkiest compact in this trio. And it's the Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection Edition of The Dinner Party. Now the original one was different colors. It was like pink with a yellow ribbon, I think. It does say Mattel on the back. No, no mention of Bluebird. And there is obviously a place for the battery because this set lights up. So when you open it, unlike the Starlight Castle where it just turns on automatically, you push this little button and the lights come on, which is super cute. So first of all, this set comes with three figures. So we'll start at the top and we have this rooftop with little chairs and a table. This lights up as does the stars and the moon. This is not what the lamp looked like originally. I want to say it was like a rounded lamp, but now it's like a star themed street lamp or outdoor lamp. But we've got little plant life. And then when we come down the steps, we have some plants in the hallway and we have a vanity room. And then we have a closet with a light inside and the door moves. So we have a plain day dress on one side and a fancy party dress on the other. And then we go down another set of steps and this is kind of like the coat closet, I guess. We've got coats, boots, and an umbrella. And then we have a bathroom. We have a toilet and a tub. I love the little detail in the corner with the shampoos and things. We have another vanity table here and then a sink. And then we come down steps into the main part of the play set. Again, we've got these really pretty doors flanked by little trees. We have a living room. Again, we'll look at the lights. We've got a glowing fireplace. We have a kitchen area with a tiny fridge that opens with some items inside. We have, I guess these are candles that glow with the light. We have a cart with some food, two chairs. Oh, we can also see on this side, we've got like a little stereo and the couch. And these are curtains that slide open. I think in the original one, this was just a cityscape. I'm gonna turn the light off. But and now it's like a city escape that says like poly, like Pollywood. But I like how these can go open and close. That's cute. Also, when you move the little cart, the food on the table flips. So you have different place settings. It's a lot of detail in this play set. This set actually comes with two poly figures. We have everyday poly in the classic poly look. And then we have fancy dress Polly. And then we have Polly's friend. And I think she may have looked different in the original play set. I don't remember, but I don't think it's the exact same figure, but she's in a little purple dress and she's holding a present. So I think the original concept is Polly goes into her closet to change and then comes out all dressed up. But again, I think this is another really adorable play set. I'm very happy to have completed my Polly Pocket keepsake collection. To clarify, I feel my collection is complete with the ones I have. There is still two other items in the keepsake collection series. There's the Royal Ball jewelry set, which is really adorable. And then there's the new one from 2024 that is the Party Time Stamper set. I don't think I'm gonna be getting these two. So for now, I feel like my collection's complete. I would have to say, I think my favorite is probably Party Time Surprise just because it's the littlest. The tinier and more detailed, the more I love it. But I do like all of them. Of all the figures, I love the mermaid ones the best. I think they're super cute. I mean, I, I love the chunkier play sets for all the details they possess and the light up features, super, super cute. But I am more drawn to the tinier compacts. But let me know your thoughts by commenting down below. Yeah.